Hi, welcome back to Baking with Josh and Ange. Hi, you guys. We are so excited to be here. After a year of construction, we have this great kitchen studio space. Ta-da! Ta it's also where our moms and sisters stay. It's like a little <laughs> Not guest. in the kitchen. Not in the kitchen. It's like a little <laughs> guest area for our family. Yeah. But when they're not here, this one's baking up a storm. That's right. I mean, it's really nice. I, I, I feel so grateful. We have so much more space here. We don't have animals and kids running what? through our shots. You don't want the cats eating the butter before I we mean, make the recipe? I mean, it's charming, but uh, no. So to kick off our new kitchen space, Josh wants to do a series called... You Can Make This! You can make it. If I can make it, you can make it. <laughs> That's true. And if, he, if she can make it, Cade can definitely make it because he's, he's great. an amazing baker. He's so good. But the whole point is that anyone can really do this. It's not all the recipes we have on the website are not hard. They just, you know, you just have to have confidence in yourself. And so that's what I want. <laughs> well, we're here for it, Josh. What are we making today? Today we are making stacked s'more brownie cookies. Stacked s'more brownie cookies. Yes. And they are super decadent and they're so good they're huge. big and they're gooey huge and they're cookies so here's what you're going to need to make the stacked s'mores brownie cookies and you can also go to our website bakingwithjoshandange.com for a full recipe plus pictures so step by step step by step to make it easy all right angela how do you think we start this recipe well, if how you've laid it out is a clue, I'm going to say with your dry ingredients first. Yay, Yay! We have a winner! All right, so we're going to start with the dry ingredients. So we whisk that together, set it aside. So we're going to need the mixer for this one. Okay, I'm ready. All right, cream the butter. Uh, hold up. That's a new, that's a new uh, hand mixer, too. I know. It's really powerful, so be careful. It's been a while, huh? Is that good? Yep, that's good. All right, next we're gonna add the sugars and we're gonna mix that together. I'm gonna mix it. Good Let me job. Go. Maybe a little lower than that. Oh, how badly do you wanna get in here? I mean. <laughs> but you know what? I can make this. You can make this. Thank you. I can make it better, but you can make this. Hey. <laughs> All right, next the egg and vanilla and we're gonna mix it again. All right, now what do you think we do? We're gonna add the dry ingredients to the wet ingredients yep. and mix until incorporated. That's right, that's <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, take a little bit, then no more. So now that the dough is mixed together, we're going to split it in half because we're gonna make three different layers to this cookie. We're making right. a chocolate cookie layer, a chocolate chip graham cracker layer, and then we're putting brownie on top, which we'll make it later. Stop it. And then a marshmallow and then toast Woo! it to make delicious. All right, so you wanna make sure that you add just about a tablespoon more of the dough to one of the halves because you're gonna be adding graham crackers to one side and okay. that kind of adds some weight and volume to it. So um, the chocolate cookie should have just a little bit more dough. All right, how do we make the chocolate dough? Okay, really easy. All we're gonna do is add some cocoa powder and just a little bit of milk and we mix it together. Okay. All right, so now the chocolate dough's done. We're gonna set this aside. Okay. You notice you put it really far away from me. Very far, because I want to have some left over. I would eat the, all to of make it. The, the, to make the actual cookies, I, right. I need some dough. So now we're going to make the graham cracker chocolate chip dough, which is really easy too, to add some crushed graham crackers and chocolate chips, and that's it. And for this, you can just fold it together. I'll fold it. Yeah. This is the dough I'm here for. Yeah, right it's here. pretty good. The great part about these cookies too is that you get like all these different flavors in one bite. It's, it's really, they're, they're really good. How's that? Great. I'll just fix it and then we'll be I ready. I can do this recipe. You can make this. You can make this. I, I have faith in you. Just, uh, we don't have the time, I guess, today to sit here and wait for it. <laughs> I saw that. Now we're going to cover these and put them in the fridge for about 30 minutes to an hour. Okay. To let the dough chill. Dough is almost done chilling, so now we're gonna make our brownie batter. So easy way to make brownie batter, you add the butter and chocolate chips together, melt this in the microwave on half power for 30 seconds, then we can do 15 second intervals until it's nice and smooth. You wanna let it cool just for a little bit before you add the other ingredients. We'll add some brown sugar, flour, and the egg yolk. And you whisk it? You whisk it. 
All right, so now it's time to start constructing these cookies, these monster cookies. They're so big. They're so big you can only fit four to a baking sheet. Oh. That's how, that's how big they Very get. Very big. First, we'll take about two tablespoons of this chocolate cookie dough. You wanna just roll it into a little ball and then put it on the baking sheet and then you wanna kind of flatten it down, I don't know, about a half inch thick, okay? Next, we're going to take the graham cracker cookie dough, about the same amount, two tablespoons again. We'll make that into a little ball. And this one, you wanna kind of flatten your hands a little bit before you put it on. And you're going to stack it right on top of that one. The last step is you take about a tablespoon of the brownie batter and you put it right on top. And try not to let it go over the edges so it doesn't burn when it cooks. Go ahead, Angela. Okay, here I go. Make me a stack s'mores brownie cookie. Rolling it, mushy, like Looking that. Looking good, yep. That looks great. Yay! All right, so we'll do the rest of these and then we'll put these in the oven. So these are ready to go in the oven, but this batch only makes eight cookies. Yeah, they're really big. We had one for dessert the other night with the kids and we just put a big one on the plate and grabbed a bunch of forks. Yeah, it's like a, a restaurant, like dessert. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of share. All right, we're gonna put these in the oven. All right, I'm gonna set the timer for 10 minutes. 10 minutes. All right, yeah. 10 minutes and then we're gonna take them out and put the marshmallows on top. So here's what Josh did. He took a regular size marshmallow and with kitchen scissors, he cut them in half. Aren't they cute? Yeah, little top hat. <laughs> oh! Oh. Isn't that nice? <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> ish. It's nice, I like it. Look at these babies, oh my gosh, already. Take them out of the oven. Now we're gonna put them back in the oven once we put the marshmallows on top so the marshmallows get all gooey. Just put one of the marshmallows right there, kind of push down a little bit. Okay, tap, tap. And then these oh. go back into the oven for about three to four minutes. Another fun thing about this recipe is that I get to use my kitchen blowtorch. Now, let's just say you don't have to. You don't yeah. need to use your kitchen blowtorch, but um, you know, whenever I get the opportunity, I kind of like to. He loves this blowtorch, <laughs> you guys. So. I have never owned one. I would have never done this part of the recipe, but Josh loves it. So if you have one, you can torch it up. It just gives it the, the s'mores kind of look, you know, but, yeah. you, but you definitely don't need it for the recipe. The marshmallows will be soft enough and they'll be mushy enough and be delicious yeah. anyway, but it just kind of gives that little extra crispy and it's fun. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, they look good. Wow, they are big. Wow. Now, I want you guys to know just now, right out of the oven, the top of the marshmallow has a little bit of that crispy look to it. Yeah. So you don't need the blowtorch. They're going to taste great. You definitely don't need the blowtorch, okay. but... But if you just want to get a st just a little bit, you know, just a little bit more... Just do your blowtorch, babe. Like, just kind of get the top down a little bit. Ooh. Oh, yeah. That's looking... Well, it's looking great. Look at those. They okay. look awesome. S'mores brownie cookies. Now, the last step that you can do is you can have a little bit of the crushed graham cracker. Mm. And you can just kind of push down the marshmallow and sprinkle it on top. And it was not a difficult recipe. It, There's a few steps. There's yes. like multiple steps, but they weren't hard. Yeah. It's re really, you're just making three different types of dough and stacking them together and baking them. That's it. All right, we're ready to try the s'mores brownie cookie. Yay! Oh, wait, hey, Kate's here. Kate's here. Hey, buddy, what do you think? It looks so good. Oh, uh, yum. Mmm, that is so good. And guess what? You can make it. And you can make, you can make it. Yeah, you have made, you have it. made it. it. You can make it though, seriously. Well, thanks so much for stopping by Baking with Josh and Ann today. We hope you love this recipe. If you make it, will you please tag us? We're at Baking with Josh and Ann on Instagram. Yep. And our website for a bunch of recipes is bakingwithjoshandange.com. Yep. And we'll try to put new videos out when we can, um, but I'll definitely keep posting recipes on the website and on Instagram. And if you like this video, make sure and like and subscribe. <laughs> Thanks, Bye. Man. Bye. 
make sure you mix it on low first because the cocoa powder has a tendency to kind of fly out. Yeah, we did that <laughs> earlier. We had it on too high. Edit. <laughs> Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. <laughs> right. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta get your hands in there. That's right. That's what she said. Ew. Oh, gross. What? <laughs> Stop being gross. This is our new kitchen. Gross? I don't wanna like. We don't get to do that's what she said jokes. To foul here. our new kitchen with tasteless jokes. I'm checking things as we go. Yes. It's actually a job. Quality tester. Thank you. I am quality assurance. <laughs> You're doing a great job. Thank you. <laughs>